Hello Scorpio, how are you guys? This is Debs and this is your TGIF for Friday the 19th of April 2024. Scorps, it's lovely to be with you. I hope you guys have had a fantastic, if I can speak, a fantastic week. <laughs> Tongue tied today. Uh, let's dive in and find out how your person feels about you. The deck that I'm using is the Marchetti deck by Chiri Marchetti. If you want a private reading, my website is listed down below in the description box together with the link to join the channel if you're wanting to become a member. Okay, here we go, my lovely Scorpios. Archangel Michael, thank you for joining us. This is the reading for my Scorpios, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Friday, the 19th of April, 2024, moving into the weekend and into a new week. Thank God it's Friday, guys. Let's see what's going on for my Scorpios. Page of Swords. Are you spying on someone, Scorps? You could be having issues with someone. You may be dealing with um, a little bit of childish energy. A bit of sort of tit for tat type energy. We'll see, guys. Michael, what do I do with this card, please? Put it to one side. Okay. So, Page of Swords. And let's see what's going on. Six of Cups. Scorpio, somebody may feel as if you're deep in nostalgia or you may be considering returning to somebody from your past. Nine of Cups. Wow. Scorpio, whoever this is, is seeing you look back at the past and being very, very happy. Okay. Knight of Coins. Four of Coins. Oh, just been feeling a wave of sadness. Wow, that was really emotional. Tower. What is going on? So Scorpio, your person feels as if you want to go back to the past. You want to revisit the past. You may want to start dating someone again because you were incredibly happy with them. Thinking of offering them commitment, Scorpio. I could be connecting with a masculine Scorpio. But you're holding back, Scorpio, because of a tower moment. So I don't know what that is. I don't know whether or not you've lost your job. And this is you thinking, oh, God, well, I can't go back to that person from the past now because I, I've got no job. Yes, yeah, it's, it's not uh, something that I'm very happy about, but it's a bit embarrassing. It could be a tower moment relating to your finances. It's almost as if, Scorpio, you don't have the courage to do this now because there's a massive obstacle in the way. And you're really upset about that because you want to commit to this person from the past. Okay, guys. Yeah, Three of Cups. You're dreaming of reconciliation. Dreaming of sending somebody a little passionate message. But, okay, Scorpio, are you afraid they're going to block you? Are you afraid that they're going to say, I don't understand why you want to come back to me. I don't understand why you're reaching out now. There's insecurity here. Okay, all right, Scorpio. Because you said something harsh or you did something that might have been a bit cutting. And this is you sat in insecurity. Emperor. Eight of Wands. Hangman. King of Swords. The Two of Cups.
Scorpio, we've got various reasons here why you feel this person will push you away. First of all, you may have enjoyed this person's company, sat in a little bit of overindulgence, but just love spending time with them. But at the time you were with them, you may have dated other people, not taking this person seriously. And so that's one of the reasons why you don't think they're going to accept you back. Second of all, Scorpio, you may be feeling very insecure for some reason about your finances because you're clutching hold of four pentacles next to the tower. I mean, that can be you losing your job. Thirdly, Scorpio, you may have said something very harsh to this person. It may have been out of frustration. It might have been just impulsively. But you know what it's like when you say something and you immediately think, God, I should not have said that. Why did I say that? You know, it could have been ego. Whatever this was, it's as if you wish you hadn't have said it. Because the minute you said it, Scorpio, this person blocked you. I mean, maybe that sting in the tail came out because you were frustrated or upset or you felt pushed into a corner or whatever this was. So Scorpio, <laughs> bless, what you really want to do is message this person to say, look, I'm ready to step up. I'm ready to marry you. I'm ready to step into the energy of the emperor. Because you're seeing things from a bigger perspective. You're understanding now that this was your person. But you're worried that if you move towards this person and express your feelings, express that you're in love with them, they're going to see you sat in some kind of strategic energy. They may not believe that your motives are honourable. It sounds a bit old fashioned, but you know, guys, what I mean, you know. And so you're holding back. But Scorpio, you're holding back heartbroken because this is your person. Underneath the deck, temperance, you have been coasting. You've been trying to figure out a way of coming back. You've been trying to keep your emotions calm, but it's very difficult. Sag energy. You want to offer this person a commitment, the Ace of Pentacles. You do. You imagine yourself sat in the Ten of Cups with this person. You are actually in love with whoever this is. But you're in your head with the Eight of Swords because you simply feel this person will reject you and you couldn't handle it if they did. I don't think, Scorpio, this is you not able to handle it because your ego wouldn't take it. But I think you genuinely feel heartbroken if this person said, I'm sorry, I don't feel the same way. So you just sat there with all these emotions, knowing this person is the one, but absolutely convinced that there's no hope. So, guys, this is sad. Yeah. Oh, Scorpio. OK. Well, let's get some messages from the angels. Let's see what they have to say. So Archangel Michael, what are the messages from the angels, please, for my Scorpios? Yeah, I'm definitely connecting with the masculine Scorpio, wanting to offer someone a serious relationship. But it's been a long time, Scorps. Okay. Okay, Scorpio. What the angels are saying is there's something better down the road. I think what they're saying is... There is a likelihood this person isn't interested anymore. There is a likelihood that if you move towards them, they're going to say, I'm sorry, um, I've moved in another direction. This is not going to work out. What they're saying is there's actually someone coming in that you're supposed to be with. What else are they saying? And that person's going to make an appearance in the near future. You're ready, Scorpio. You are ready for a serious relationship. Yes, you're ready for romance, Scorpio. You're ready. You're ready. Oh, I'm feeling so jittery in this reading. I feel you're very nervous moving towards this person. There are helpful people that are going to be coming into your life, Scorpio. Now, it could be that someone introduces you to a friend of theirs. 
And this is you thinking, wow, they're my person. It could be. You could be introduced to someone by a friend of yours. Wait, okay, Scorpio. I want to give you guys a hug. Um, I don't think this person is potentially going to say yes. Otherwise, the angels would be saying to you, go for it. They're not. They're saying, Scorpio, just so you know, we've got someone else lined up for you. Yeah. And you're going to be feeling a whole lot better in the near future. So what they're saying is wait, wait, don't rush towards this person because you may intuitively feel or you may already know that there's a strong likelihood they're going to reject you because of what happened in the past. What they're saying is don't even try. They don't want you to feel hurt. There is someone better coming in for you. So hold back from communicating with this person that they're the love of your life because they're not meant for you, Scorps. They're not. I think, Scorpio, let's get some messages from this person that you want to move towards to you. Because I feel that you almost need closure. That's the energy that's coming through. Let's do that. Let's see what they want to say. Archangel Michael, what would this person want to say to my Scorpios? Thank you, Michael. What do they want to say? I want to be honest and tell you what's really going on in my life right now. So maybe they do want to have a conversation, Scorpio. It might be that there's a lot going on in their life as you have a lot going on in your life. Okay. I'm letting go of old ways and leaving toxic people and situations behind. I want a better life for myself, a new beginning. Now, Scorpio, I don't think this person saw you as toxic, you know. What I'm getting from that is this person is simply keen to leave the past behind and move forward. They're moving into a new cycle. They want a new beginning. Okay. I know that we have a deep soul connection. The love I feel for you has always been there. So Scorpio, if you wondered, this person did feel a very deep soul connection with you. You probably knew them in a past life and they do love you deeply. But I don't feel it's the kind of love that's romantic. I don't know why I feel that. They do love you, but maybe Scorpio, they're not in love with you. So, yes, I don't think this person has any bad feelings towards you. I don't think this is someone who wishes ill will on you. I don't feel they're angry. I feel that they're very calm in their energy. They're happy to chat, but I don't think this is someone who is looking to rekindle things seriously with you. But they wish you well, you know, the love I feel for you has always been there. As in, you know, I, I hope that you're happy and you fall in love with somebody else and life goes well. Yeah, probably not what you want to hear, Scorpio, but that's what I'm getting. Okay. What they're saying to you, Scorpio, is I have a lot of insecurities that are holding me back from reaching out to you. I'm working on myself to become more confident. So obviously there's a little bit of insecurity there on this person's part. It might be that because of what happened in the past and because of their insecurities, they've just moved on, you know. They are working on themselves to become more confident, though. But I don't get the feeling that this is someone who's going to be coming back to, you know, work on the situation. Scorpio, for my lovely cross watchers, let's find out what you would want to say to them. Let's do that. OK, what you want to say to them, Scorpio, is... They say, you don't know what you've got till it's gone. The truth, 
I always knew exactly what I had, but I just thought that I would never lose it. I'm sorry I really messed it all up. So Scorpio, you know, this is you looking back thinking, oh my goodness, why did I say that? Why did I do that? I screwed it all up. You're apologising to this person. Yeah. What else do you want to say to them? Again, I didn't see the truth about this connection for a long time. I was blindfolded. Now I finally realise that it is you. It was always you. You are the one. But Scorpio, in the nicest sense, I think that there was too much water under the bridge. Too much was done. Too much was said. Feelings were held back. And this is you needing to, I think, accept that you need to move on. I see you in everyone I meet. You are constantly running through my mind and heart. Scorpio, this is really sad, guys. Okay. I pretend that I'm happy without you, but the truth is, is that I'm heartbroken over you. Yeah. So, Scorpio, this is just a case of woulda, coulda, shoulda. I wish I'd seen it before. I wish I hadn't said that. I wish I hadn't done that because you're the one. But I really feel that this person has moved on. I think you know it deep down. That's why you haven't moved towards them up until this point of time. So the angels are saying, hang on and wait. Don't move towards this person. They're just going to push you away. It's not going to be comfortable. Wait, move forward because there is somebody else coming in. There's romance in the near future. So Scorps, let's move into a second reading. Let's have a look and see who else is coming in. All right, I'll see you in the second reading. Here we go, my lovely Scorpios. Let's see who else is going to come in for you. Archangel Michael, who else is coming in for my lovely Scorpios, please? Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Oh, okay. Wow. All right. Friday, the 19th of April, 2024. Who else is coming in for Scorpio? Thank you, Michael. My Scorpio masculines. Okay. Got the Queen of Cups that came out, Scorpio. Oh, cards are being difficult. All right. So, Scorpio. We've got the Knight of Cups and the Queen of Cups. So you may be in the future, Scorpio, moving towards a fellow water sign. A Scorpio like yourself, a Pisces or a Cancer. All right. Michael's saying put them on the table. So, okay, let's do that. The shadow side. Scorpio, don't let what happened in the past affect your confidence. This is you automatically thinking this person's going to reject you. Okay, bless you. Nine of Pentacles. So you're moving towards someone sat in pre-empress energy. The world. So Scorpio, you could meet this person on the internet. That can be the World Wide Web. You could meet this person out and about if you're travelling. But look at you. It's as if you're consumed with fear that they're going to push you away. Okay, guys, you'll be all right. Two of Pentacles. This is you thinking, oh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Is this person going to accept me into their life? Three of Cups. You're thinking still about reconciling with a person from the past. But with a nine of wands, you know that that's not going to work. You're feeling too burdened to go back to that person. So you're thinking about things. 
Scorpio, it may well be that you need a little bit more time to get over the person from the past before you are able to fully offer love to somebody else. Because this is you thinking, OK, well, I have attraction for this person. I have emotion for this person. Let's see how it goes. But then it's almost as if you back off. Oh, no, no, that they're sitting in pre-empress energy. No, they're going to reject me. Right. And then this is you thinking back at the past, wondering whether or not you should go back to the person from the past because they're truly who you really wanted. But you may feel too much water's flown under the bridge and you may feel with a four of swords that it's not going to work out. Guys, two of swords, okay. Scorpio, you're going to push down your feelings. You're going to push down your feelings and with the energy of the hermit, you're going to go deep into introspection to figure out what you really want. Karma. It may be, Scorpio, if you were connected to a Virgo with a hermit card, it may well be that you can't go back to this person from the past now because they might have blocked you. And this is you sitting thinking, OK, well, I deserve that in the past because of something I did or said. But with the three of pentacles, you're really keen to go back and try and patch up that relationship. OK. The fool. You know what, Scorpio, I think you're going to end up going back to the person you knew in the past. Because you're doing some soul searching, they really were the person that you wanted to be with. They really were the one, you just couldn't see it at the time. I think you're going to try and go back to the person that you truly fell in love with. They may have blocked you, you may need to find another way of getting in touch, but that is the person you really want to be with, Scorpio. You can't deny it. You can't deny it. So you may chicken out of offering love to this Queen of Cups. Because what you're realising is the person you truly wanted is still on your mind. OK, so underneath the deck, Scorps, Ace of Swords, you're telling yourself the truth. Queen of Pentacles. So it may well be that this is you heading back to a Virgo or a Taurus or a Capricorn. Queen of Swords, you may feel she's going to be a bit cold with you, a little bit defensive. But I think, Scorpio, what you're going to do is you're going to gather up the courage and say to her that she's the one. You couldn't see it before, but you see it now. You're really sorry for what happened in the past and you want to give it another shot. King of Cups. There we have you, Scorpio. You're going to gather together the courage to go back to this person to see whether or not they will accept you back. So, shall we see if they will? Because I think that's where your heart lies, you know. All right. So what are you going to say to this Queen of Pentacles, Scorpio? Two of Cups, yeah. That you realise that you'd fallen in love with them. And with the Sun, Scorpio, you may say to them that they made you very happy and you realise that you could imagine building a life with them. What are they going to say? What are they going to say? Wow, Six of Cups. <laughs> Scorpio, they may say to you, I kind of had an idea you'd be back. Empress. They're going to ask Scorpio whether or not you're really ready to commit. And it may be a bit scary, Scorpio. They may want to talk about living together, getting engaged. They are serious. They want to know how serious you are. 
They want to know how serious you are. Are you ready to be their emperor? Wow, guys, empress, emperor. Okay, so what are you going to say to that, Scorpio? Okay, the wheel of the year, the wheel of destiny. Yeah, I think what you're going to say to them is, I didn't realise that I was in love with you until I lost you. We're supposed to be together. I didn't see it at the time. Seven of Pentacles. I've been looking at the past. I've been stuck in the past. I just found it really difficult to get over you. And with the Six of Swords, you simply want to move to calmer waters, Scorpio. You want them back. They're your person. So is it going to happen? <laughs> Six of Pentacles. I think you're both going to decide to put effort into this. Whoever this person is to you, Scorpio, I think initially their thought process was we can't get back together again. It's just not going to work out. I've moved on with my life. I've moved into a different cycle. But Scorpio, this is you returning, talking about getting very serious. You're talking marriage, you're talking about building a life together, you're talking about starting a family, whatever this is. And I think it might change this person's mind. I think it might. Temperance. Scorpio, the angels are bringing you back together again. You two are going to move into a beautifully calm place. There's going to be a lot of conversations, a lot of talking about the future. Give this person some time to just relax in your company again. And if you're serious about making this work long term, I think they will take you back. All right, my lovely Scorpios, <laughs> all's well that ends well. Let's get some messages from the universe. Archangel Michael, what is the advice and guidance from the universe for my Scorpios? Thank you, Michael. Deep knowing. Scorpio, you know that this is your person. They're the one for you. You know it. I think you've been sat feeling miserable, believing that this was never going to come back together again. I think you hurt this person. I think they were upset. I think they pulled back and they've been trying to get on with their life. But Scorpio, if you move towards them to say, I love you, I'm sorry, I want to get serious with you, I want us to get engaged, then you may find that they change their mind. What's the guidance from the universe? Okay, Scorpio. No messing around, no doing anything impulsive. Do things by the book. You're dealing with an earth sign, Scorpio, okay? This is someone who wants everything to be done in order. This is someone potentially very traditional. This is someone who would expect you two to date for maybe a further six months and then talk about living together, then get engaged. And then after that, move straight into a marriage. Do things by the book with this person, okay? That's what would make them feel really comfortable. Okay. No place like home, Scorpio. <laughs> this person is home to you. They're home to you. And I think you two are going to create a beautiful home together. Go the distance. Scorpio, you will need to be loyal to this person, faithful to this person. You're going to have a long journey ahead of you. There are going to be ups and downs. Life isn't perfect. But if you pull together and you communicate, this is going to work. So that is a guidance for you from the universe. All right, Scorpio. As always, we're going to end the reading with a message from Archangel Michael. 
Archangel Michael, what is your closing message of guidance, please, for my lovely Scorpios? What is your message of guidance? Thank you, Michael. Interesting. Spend more time outdoors. Thank you for motivating me to spend more time outdoors and for helping me relax and enjoy connecting with nature. Well, for many of you, it is the time of year where the sun comes out. Flowers are blooming. Take them out for a picnic. Enjoy spending time outside. Ground yourself. Lovely energy, Scorpio. So guys, I am leaving it there. Have a wonderful weekend, whatever you're up to. Take care of yourselves. And of course, I'll be back before you know it with your next set of readings. See you soon. Bye now. <laughs>